My name is uh, Juma Salim Juma, Executive Director at the Kamkunji Community Peace Network. I'm also a community paralegal. Uh, we are doing uh, peace building. Uh, we are also preventing violent extremism in the neighborhood. We are promoting uh, human rights. And we are also empowering the community and most specifically the young people. Being born and raised in Kamkunji, specifically Majengo community, uh, I think uh, living in this difficult uh, community and experiencing uh, challenges such as uh, uh, drug and substances abuses, uh, high level of poverty, uh, lack of education, uh, sexual gender-based violence and so many other issues. I think uh, that's one of the push factor as to why I'm in this uh, field. Looking at uh, my childhood friends in this neighborhood, which is Kamkunji sub-county, uh, so many of them have died as a result of radicalization and violent extremism and also their engagement in crime. So that is one of the, the key uh, driver and uh, drive in terms of me why I'm in this field and what I'm doing in this neighborhood so tukiangalia uh, mta tukiangalia vizazi zile zimekuwa nyuma yetu kumekuwa na trend of which ijakuwa uh, ni trend fit vijana wana indulge into uh, drugs and substance abuses tukiangalia pia marriages is in a break na hiyo pia lead to school dropout na watu wanakuwa wana lack education Alafu unapata pia cases of uh, kama criminal cases mambo ya vijana kuingia alshabab na other criminal gangs zinafanya vijana wengi wanaingilia mambo mingi ile haijengi taifa na haijengi jamii na hata wao pia themselves haiwa jengi juu pia tunaona kuna ma movement kama crime si poa kweli vijana wengi wala mingili hii story uh, kweli hawajakuwa kifaidika tuoni any positive uh, development in them but tukiangalia wale vijana kama sisi wale wanafanya vitu positive kwa neighborhood at least tuna grow hata mimi nikiangalia 2018 i received head of state commendation as a shuja because of the peace building and exemplary services i'm offering my community because of uh, encouraging the young people women and vulnerable groups in the community to be positive members of the society to also I'm also bringing on board ex convict people who have been jailed people who have been in prison as a result of uh, uh, indulgence into criminal activities so we are trying to transform them and reform re reform them so as for them to reintegrate back into the society so that they can do positive thing in the community currently we uh, as Kamkunji Community Peace Network and Kamkunji Human Rights Defenders I think uh, we are doing tremendous uh, work in our community. Uh, we have several programs. One of the program is peace building and Jichanue CVE program, which is a program uh, that focuses on prevention and countering violent extremism in Kamkunji sub-county. There have been so many structural issues, like for example, issues of getting identity card, issues of getting jobs, those issues have been very crucial and very instrumental to this neighborhood. So terrorists and people with radical views have taken advantage of that and they've managed to lure young people into their terrorist networks. So as a result of that, they managed to come up with the Al-Shabaab group terrorist network in Majengo. Then they, they transported it to Somalia, which uh, has really cost us a lot in terms of recruitment. Most of our young people have been recruited into that network and they have died and most of them are suffering in Somalia. Now currently we have many cases of enforced disappearances and also families are crying. Looking at these families that their loved ones have gone to terrorism or have, gone, have, have been killed as a result of uh, them joining uh, criminal gangs uh, robbing people in the neighborhood so these families are highly traumatized they are suffering so we have another program which is called uh, kumekucha tr which is a trauma informed resiliency uh, program which is uh, doing its best to at least help these people to start their own healing journey so that they can solve their own problem because we believe if trauma is not transformed it is transferred if these people are not healed 
they will promote cases of radicalization and recruit, recruitment into criminal gangs and terrorism and it will be a, a cycle of people dying of people killing other people other people coming joining the same networks and criminal gangs dying so it, it won't end but in this program it's about healing and it's about forgiveness and reintegration of other people and also helping them to, to, to be responsible citizens and also uh, help their families because of this most of these young people have young families and when maybe a, a father figure is missing in a family you'll find out that uh, uh, these single uh, parents they will tend to indulge into prostitution and this will, is also bringing issues like HIV uh, and other issues of STI which is also brought about by poverty uh, which is also making these communities more vulnerable to uh, extrajudicial killing, to crime, to issues of terrorism and many issues. But as Kamkunji Community Peace Network, we are, very, we are doing our level best to ensure that our community is aware of these issues. They are informed, they are educated and they are making the right decisions in terms of child, uh, children upbringing and also making uh, right decision in terms of uh, their life and also maybe getting back to school and also getting chance from the security organs and also uh, at least tapping from other uh, like government provisions like uh, youth and enterprise development fund weso fund and also tapping into other uh, non-governmental organization support like cash transfer to help these families and also encouraging them to 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 start uh, businesses and also to have entrepreneurial st skills and looking at the the area we have two types of youths we have formal youths and informal youths these non-formal youths are in small businesses like uh, managing public amenities like washrooms and the are living from there we also have uh, youth who are doing uh, laundry washing people's clothes and earning a living we also have formal youths who are edu people who are educated, they are graduates, they are in universities, they have graduated, some of them are in internship opportunities, some of them are working. So if, if, if it's about coming up with a program, we have two programs, formal programs and non-formal programs. We are also linking our young people, our non-formal people to, uh, to technical skills like plumbing, uh, carpentry, welding businesses also driving because these are some of the the gaps in the community we don't have such people in this community and the community of the kenyan community of today we are lacking plumbers we are lacking carpenters so we are doing our best to also bridge that gap to also inform uh, young people to take advantage of these opportunities we are bringing on board uh, other ngos which are offering such opportunities and yeah, lucky. Uh, now, currently, I'm very proud of it. Thank you.